unboxing video. For today's unboxing, we're looking at a game called Electioneer, where it says it's election time in Hong Kong. Players are candidates competing to win the legislative election. Yeah, okay, I guess that kind of sums up the game. Win the election. Got it. Anyway, we should open up this game and see what's inside. So inside this game, we got rules in English. Hey, English. Okay. This kind of worried me for a moment. But that should have also to Okay, just sh got it. Okay, so we got table of contents, the components. Looks like that's a pretty cool looking board. You got your pieces, more stuff explaining rules. This game looks pretty interesting. I don't know, I kind of like the look of it. Here you got more rules. And the last couple pages of rules. Where you have a root list and an appendix. Ooh. Anyways, let's put that to the side. Here we got our board. Which is like a pretty big board. Voila. Look at all the different colors. It's so pretty. It's only a one-sided board. It's a pretty nice board. I like it. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart if I accidentally bend it wrong. But looks like at the top you got your scoring pad or scoring track. And then the different cities that you're going to trying to win the elections. And then we also have some cards in this box or in this game. Game box. I'm not entirely sure. But we should open this stack of cards and see what's inside. Inside this we got things that mean things. I'm not entirely sure what this means. I can't read. Oh, for each tourism symbol, you confirm gain one resource disc from the reserve. Magazine gap. Okay. Like, I like how they have the English version of that, but I'm still not entirely sure what it means. Sorry. But lots of different cards that in this deck, which do different things. I like the colors of the cards, though. It's very bright. It seems very bright and colorful, and I really do like that. And then here we have another deck of cards that we can look at. On the front, it looks like they're like some sort of podium. I think that's what those are. They look like podiums. Open this up. And inside we have cards, which, whew, I don't know what you're doing with these cards. But, hey, this really looks like an interesting game. I don't play it. Yeah. I don't know what this is. Oh, I thought this was like one of those apps. Okay, that's interesting. These cards look interesting. Ooh. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, here's the back of the cards. Here you got this, then this, and this, more this, and that, and that, and that. And there you go, the this and that of that pile. By the way, the other ones look like this. Wow, they look like they need to be sorted out. And then finally, for the last deck of cards in this game, you can open it up, see the inside. Here we got more cards, which mean different things. That I don't know. But like I said, this game looks interesting. There's a lot of information going on in these cards, so maybe hopefully it's not a little too much for the actual gameplay. I'm not entirely sure. Like here we got some maps of the board, of like the different locations, I guess. And that's the last pile of cards. Oh, and the, by the way, this is the back of the cards. Yee. Ooh, ah, ah. And then for the card quality, Actually pretty good cards. They're really thick. Like they're bendy, but I don't think I've seen a card that's not a tile and not bend. 
but these are really nice thick cards. This is just one of them. It feels like there's three stuck together, but it's just because they're so thick. But what else we got in this box? We got pieces. Your little different color wooden pieces that you're going to be playing around in the game. So here you got like a red meeple, an orange and yellow hexagons, and that's cool. You got all the colors of the rainbow here. Ta-da! So those are simple wooden pieces. And then we also got gray discs. Not as colorful as the other meeples, but probably still just as important in the game. So these are just those regular wooden discs that you find just painted gray. Yep. And then we also got hexagons for I'm guessing the map maybe. But, ooh, I like the thickness of these tiles. I really, I really like the production value of this game. Everything looks really good. Let's just hope the game is as good as it looks. Well, that's just a blank tile. Maybe that's important? I don't know. You never know with those blank tiles if they're trash or not at first. But anyway, that was everything in this box. This has been another daily unboxing video of Electioner. I'm Melody, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Tune in every day for the Dice Tower's daily game unboxing.